Hi hey everyone, Joe Marquez here. I hope you are having a great and safe day. Today's day was a little different and I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm, because I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. It's just about sharing with you guys my experiences so maybe you can learn and all of us like in, like in conjunction maybe we can like get some something out of this. So this is what I got for today. I got a lead from the marketing agency. So the first thing that I did today, I call her and I call this nice lady and I close her on the spot. So this, it was a small sale. It was around like, I think 60, 70 bucks premium, something like that. So I get half of it, so like 30 or 40 bucks or something like that. The issue that I got was that since I didn't get any more uh, qualified lead for, for the rest of the day, I reckon that it made it would make sense to like start calling those LinkedIn contacts. It's like my plan B, right? Like I, uh, I have been explaining to you guys, you need to be in a mode which is like uh, not thinking and just doing. It's important because if you're like super creative and I, that's my problem, I, I need to stop being creative. It's like stop thinking, just keep doing, right? Sometimes you think like people that I like, uh, they don't have ideas, that, that's not their strength, right? No, obviously everyone has ideas, and like, that's not their core skill. You would think that they are like less powerful, but that couldn't be further from the truth because they are more focused on execution, right? It's like that uh, great person that I met that was the owner of this really large uh, retail uh, chain here in Portugal, he wasn't prone to ideas. You're just selling like groceries, right? But he has like a ton of stores, right? So he's mega wealthy, like billionaire many times over. So it's just a matter of you figuring out your core skills and understanding your weaknesses. So you understand where like your flaw is, you need to find a way around it. And mine is I need to stop thinking and keep doing, right? So the the thing to to like to have that going in your favor is for you to have a way of having your day like uh, set up in a way that you like uh, do one then do a next one and then the next one it's like a little bit like building momentum that type of uh, approach to doing things and since i did this first call and that was successful today so i i closed this nice lady but now you have this certain degree of randomness that comes into your life and you have to deal with this. And I, now that I'm being more analytical regarding uh, seeing this aspect of my life, because I want to like get the most bang for the buck, meaning the most effort that you put in, you're trying to get the most out of it. So obviously it will be qualified leads. And if you don't have them, right, you should be like calling like those LinkedIn contacts, right? But the problem is that life will start calling you as well. You get like random situations coming in and people calling you and so if you pick up the phone right you find yourself in a situation that probably if like a guy some guy from the insurance carrier some something like that it's a nice dude and all that and probably like bringing in valuable advice and updates and something like that but it pretty much messes up your day right because you need to be in this mindset of doing things, right? Executing, executing, executing. But now you have randomness coming in and people calling you, right? So this has to stop. And I noticed this today because I'm being more analytical, like regarding the process. And if like from a theory perspective, meaning like your brain, just pure analytics, you're looking at the situation and saying you need to be calling like it's like a door to door mentality, a store mentality, right? So this also means that you have to put down the phone because you are door knocking. But if in this specific case, your door knocking activity is cold calling and obviously you would start with qualified leads or you stop uh, for a second because you are calling new leads that come in, right? You need to do this in a way that you use your available energy for the day so that you can like get the most bang for your buck so it's like calling the qualified leads and then keep doing your like calling those linkedin contacts and then contact one today this is horrible because in theory it makes sense but in practice right you get people calling you and send you emails and can you reply back and then you have like an, a new insurance carrier Telling you I need the contracts 
could you be so kind to send me those uh, signed today so I can submit the process? So it's like, so what I reckon is like, since this is pretty much going to happen like every single day, right? Because it's like life, right? I think you have to box things. Uh, I think that's, that's the, at least my approach right now. So I believe uh, things should be done more efficiently. efficiently. It's like from this time to this time, you don't answer calls, right? You just call people, something like that, right? Even, even if it's like new customers, I don't care. It's like you're calling people directly, right? Because otherwise you'll spend a bunch of energy, right? Like dealing with stuff and then it breaks the momentum. Right, and, and know that, like, as an entrepreneur, you do all sorts of things and wear all, all sorts of hats, but this is like messes you up and messes up your day. Right? Because I do door knocking, and I can tell you that I lose momentum if I need to stop to do other things. In this specific case, it's kind of funny because actually, throughout, uh, I think it was in the morning, I, I forget uh, uh, around 10 o'clock or 11 or something like that, I got two calls. From an unknown, an unknown number, right? So I was with this lady uh, closing the contract, right? But then I, I got a call, right, from someone else, and it was two calls. And when I like, I called the person back, and it was a customer, right? She she got in contact with me, probably saw saw some Facebook posts or something like that. It was a, like a, a a client, a real client, but it's like you know, answering this person and sending a quote, right? It messes your momentum because you need to be cold calling. So uh, it's like you don't know who's calling you, right? So I think it's like, I don't know, I don't have the answers. Maybe you do, I don't. But I think that in order to make this happen, especially when, when you are cold calling people, which uh, for me, it takes a lot of energy because you need to be focused, you need to build momentum because it's a cold situation. It's like they don't know you and you need to be prepared for to be rude and handle some rudeness. So you need to be focused and have lots of energy to do this. But if you stop like in the middle, like to do something else, like you lose momentum. And it's very hard to like to regain momentum again because when you are like in a situation, it's like door to door, you're like in a building, it's like you know in the top, uh, the top four, and that keep coming, coming down. It's like you knock on each unit, like and you like go down the stairs and then repeat the process, rinse and repeat until you get to the to the last, like to the ground floor. You don't have your cell phone like doing stuff like on the phone when you're doing this. Like you need to be focused, right? You're knocking on a door, presenting your pitch. Knocking on a door, presenting your pitch. That works. But now that you are in a situation that uh, you are at home and the store mentality makes sense because it's like the cashier, she just does that. She or he doesn't matter. It's like only doing that activity, right? But now you have like people calling you, it messes everything up. Even if it's a customer, right? A paying customer. So it's like you need to, you need to be in a situation. It's like you don't answer people's calls. That's it. It's like none. I'm going to try that today, yeah, Today, sorry, tomorrow, I'm going to try that tomorrow, it's like uh, I'll start tomorrow at around 2 o'clock because I need to do some ads in the morning and I won't answer people's calls, I will try to do that, it's an experiment, you see how the thing goes, because if you are doing 100 cold calls, it's like you need to be focused, because otherwise you call the second guy, you already, it's like you lost concentration, so I'll try that. And tomorrow, when I make a new video like this, maybe we'll see how the thing works. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I probably have like uh, at least learning something from this, because I'll be honest with you, I, I really wanted to have something like this uh, for me when I was trying to learn this stuff. I learned a lot by myself, and it's like there are no schools for this. You, like you keep adjusting, but it's important to keep this analytical part, like analyzing the thing to see how you, like ways of you keep building the process. Because think about it, if you came to this conclusion that it makes sense to uh, make 100 phone calls, right? But now you are not doing them, right? So you're failing, right? Even if like 
out of 100, you get like one client. It doesn't matter really. But if you are like on theory, in theory, you're thinking about it and say, this makes sense. If you're not doing that, right, you're failing. So you need to find a way of like getting the, the thing done. And this is what I'm going to try. And I'll update you guys tomorrow. So it's the, the whole idea is I'll do ads in the morning because I like doing that in the mornings. And usually like Saturdays and Sundays, it's not my experience. Like calling people it doesn't work that well, at least for me. Maybe it works for you. It does work when you are inside a building because they open the door. But like the phone, people are like, at least for me, I'd rather use that time to like develop ads that will keep working like ad eternum. And then use my afternoons where people are a little bit more relaxed and then I start calling them. That's what I'll do tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and click that bell button below so you can get notified every time that I make new videos like this. Peace.